What up, YouTube? This is part two of the Sting uh, Ultimate Warrior little video. So this is part two. So I'm going to continue where I left off. Just a couple minutes left. So basically what happened, the difference between the two wrestlers was Sting was willing to, uh, uh, you know, better himself in the ring, out the ring, on the mic. As far as promos, uh, I think his work, uh, his work, ex you know, his self expl explains itself. He was, he had a long a career very long longevity he was there many titles um you know he goes down in the books he won his ma first major title i think it was 90 against rick flair and opposite uh ultimate warrior beat hulk hogan um it looked like you know ultimate warrior was going to take the torch from hogan and be the face of the wwf but uh now that we look back on history he wasn't able to do it he didn't have the personality the charisma anything related to the business to take over for a Hulk Hogan. Um, and Hulk Hogan set that bar so high with his, you know, with everything that he brought to the table, you know, um, and, and, you know, ultimate warrior just thought that he was entitled to all that his own dressing room. He would treat guys, you know, not with respect. He would look down on them. You know, uh, he wasn't, you know, he didn't make the matches better. He made them worse. Um, he wasn't willing to learn, you know what I mean? Um, and that's the difference between Sting and him. You know what I mean? They did uh, come back together on a, in a reunion match sometime in 98 after uh, Ultimate Warrior retired for some years. And he was re-signed. Not re-signed, but he joined w WCW when uh, uh, when Hogan and all them NWO guys were all over there. And uh, Bischoff was over there. And he signed them. And um, it was a 1998 match, I believe, with him and Sting as partners against... Uh, Hollywood Hogan and Brett the Hitman Hart. I think they won by disqualification or count out or something like that. Nonetheless, nothing uh, had anything to do with the Blade Runners. They didn't use that name or nothing like that. That was something of the past. And by this time, these guys were two well-known superstars in the game. Um, but on popularity-wise, you know, Ultimate Warrior is probably up there with 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 Sting because of the WWF notoriety. But as far as in-ring performances and uh, everything that Sting's done over the years, there's no competition there. Sting has left Ultimate Warrior in the dust way back, you know, even, uh, dating back to like 90s. Even if you go back to like, say, 95, Sting already left him in the dust. You know what I mean? Ultimate Warrior just had, you know, clothesline, 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 you know, lift Gorilla Press over the head, power slam. And that was pretty much it. You know what I mean? Sting could do anything. Figure four, he do the, the scorpion splash. You know, he had a bunch of things going on. And um, this is going to be, this is concluding part two of Sting and Ultimate Warrior, a.k.a. the Blade Runners from way back, a.k.a. the Freedom Fighters. And uh, R.I.P. Ultimate Warrior, nonetheless, he still had a family. And he left behind some young daughters at the time. Now they're grown women. And uh, that being said, Big Lou stepping on out with part two, and I'm gone.